Call her Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai. You know, double honors unto the apostles of GMS. And salutations to the Akim out there on the four corners of the earth that are doing his work in truth and sincerity. All right, it's your brother Malcolm coming at you with another lesson of truth in the scriptures. All right, and uh, this is a, a response video to the salvation is coming, um, which was put up by the brother Arala. Um, one of the, uh, one of the, uh, sergeants in my camp, the brother is, uh, a very spiritual brother. And then one of the gifts that he was given from Yahweh, why Yahweh shy was, uh, the gift of dreams and the gift of, of interpreting dreams. You know, um, I've had a, a number of spiritual dreams myself that I share with the brother and he, you know, he breaks your dream down and he did the, the, you know, uh, the Lord gave him that gift, but um, I'm not going to, you know, uh, fumble over his 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 dream. I would suggest that you go watch the the video. It's called uh, "Salvation Is Coming," Part One and Two. But basically, he had a dream that you know he re he received spiritual power from from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and. Um, it was a very beautiful dream, and I have to be honest with you, when you when you uh, watch the video, it's very moving. But it was even more moving when he first, and he tells you in the beginning too, I've already told it twice, because I was the first person that he called. And um, and when he told me the dream, it, uh, it almost brought me to tears, man, it was so beautiful, all right? So I, I will bear witness that the video is a very good edifying video. But when he goes into the dream on a video, it was really good, but it didn't have the effect as when he told me. I wish that, you know, I was recording it so you so that, you know, that Israel could have heard what I heard. It was beautiful, man. But uh, let me get a quick scripture. This is uh, Revelation uh, 14 and one, verses 1 through 5. The point is in verse 3. And it, and it reads, and I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion and with him 144,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of hoppers harping with their harps. Now, remember, Yahweh Shai's voice was the sound of many waters. That's in Revelation, the first chapter, around the 13th, 14th verse. All right. Verse three. And they sung a, a song as if it were a new song before the throne. Because, see, the lion song, the false doctrine song, the radical uh, terrorist Christianity song, because it's funny how Christians are now starting to refer to the black Hebrew Israelites. We're not black Hebrew Israelites, we're Israelites. And whenever you hear that term, that's propaganda and a lie being pushed. My skin is nowhere near black, okay? And, and I've said it many times, I will say it again. There is no such thing as a black person. There are brown people on the face of this earth and there are red people, okay? And the song is, is that the Lord came for his own people, for the house of Israel. As a matter of fact, I watched the video from the brother from the brother uh from gms uh uh fear the most high and he posed the question to you uh to the to you terrorist terroristic crusading christians and the question was did did the lord lie in matthew 15 and 24 all right because this new song that i'm reading about in verse 3 is the is the uh message that is brought to you on the streets by the by the Hebrew Israelites, so specifically those of the fold of GMS and and the other few camps that teach the likewise true message. Um, camps like I uh, name them off, like DTN Men of Honor, or Men of Valor. Um, they're uh, how can I say they're like substituents of GMS but not GMS they acknowledge who their teachers are and 
and they teach the doctrine the same as the elders of GMS, the one true doctrine. There's only one truth, not many. Okay? But that new song is that salvation is only for the Israelites, just like the name of the video in the brother's dream. It says salvation is coming, and salvation is coming for the Israelites, and not only the Israelites, but the elect of Israel, because it said the 144,000 who are going to be the judges, and that 144,000, it names them in the, in the Revelation, the seventh chapter, which kills the Jehovah Wickedness doctrine, because that, that's 12,000 men from each one of the 12 tribes. Those are the new judges of the earth. That's the new song. Let's finish it. Verse 3, and they sung it. They sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000, which were redeemed from earth. All right. These are they which were not defiled with women, um, for they are virgins. And that's talking about the women are other philosophies, Christ terroristic Christianity, being a Muslim, you know, being a seven day Adventist, being a. Uh, uh, um, a more, you know, being a five percenter. All right. What about the other 95 percent of knowledge? You got about five percent of knowledge. That's true, man. OK. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb. So that's how you know they follow you. How shy. All right. And in and, and Matthew 15 and 24, you know, as the brother said, did he lie? Because they'll go and ramble off, the, you know, different scriptures from, from Paul's epistles to the Gentiles when those Gentiles were the scattered Israelites. And that's a very simple thing to, to get. You know, the definitions of the words of the word Gentile itself, when you actually look it up, explains that. All right. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits un, un, unto Yahweh. And the lamb. So you can go back to, uh, I think it's Jeremiah, the uh, first chapter, the fifth verse, I believe. Let's go to Jeremiah real quick. Let me jump to my spirit to say that. I hadn't planned that. But let's see. Before I formed the Jeremiah 5 and 1, and it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So before they even came forth, they already been chosen. Those were your elect, man. They were chosen from the foundations of the earth. They were among the first uh, spirits created, man. And those are the people, and those spirits are going to get, and those the people who, who those spirits are dwelling in on earth that are alive, that are here on the earth, in the flesh uh, are going to be saved out of this this uh, uh, this mess and, and going to be a part of the 144,000 and the elect, man. The elect being the one, the rest of the one third, that great multitude. Why? Because they were scattered, because Israel was scattered among the nations and were like the sand of the sea. That's who that great multitude is, man. Those confusion of face uh, Israelites who are going to look like the heathen nations. And if you can't get that, the Lord's not with you, period. Okay? Um, now let me tell you about and share with you uh, a dream that I had uh, probably, a, probably a little bit over a year ago and then a dream that my son had. Um, and my son is the head of the... Uh, the GMS Colorado camp. And he called me about a month ago and shared, you know, his vision that he had with me. But I had a dream. Well, yeah, it was, it was less than two years ago. Probably was about maybe a little over a year ago that I was in the presence of a chariot when it came down. And when the chariot door opened, a bunch of lamb came off the the chariot. There was a, there was a lamb and uh, that was in front that was, and there was lamb that were following behind it. And then as I was looking at the lamb, they all turned into lions. And they were like ginormous lions. These weren't like normal lions. These were like that lion from that movie, the Narnia. Like the uh, the lion who was, uh, I think his name was Ash, Ash, uh, 
as Azrael, as Azrael or something. We were really trying to say Israel. All right. But this lion was probably about 10 feet tall at the at the at the shoulders. He was humongous. And when I saw the lion, I was so afraid I, I bowed down my head to it. And I bowed down to the lion um, because through the spirit, I knew that it was Yahweh Shai. But what I did not know is if I was going to get death or not. But I bowed down to it and 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 uh, worshipped the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And you could and the lion was so heavy you can actually I could feel the the ground trembling as he walked toward me. All right, and then I could feel his breath because I'm bowing down. I could feel his breath on the back of my head and neck, man. And I thought that it was gonna grab me by the neck and just you know and 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 my spirit was just gonna leave my body. And then all of a sudden I felt the cold nose. On my on the back of my neck, man, and the lion was very gentle with me. And then I, when I'm looking at his his humongous paw, and his paw was probably like the size. His paws looked like they were so big. It looked his the toes coming out of the paw looked like maybe two or three bricks, like the size of a brick. It was it was huge, man. His paw was bigger than my head. And when he removed his paw, he had four tickets. And I understood that those, you know. And, and and basically the brother Arala broke down to me, you know, what those tickets represented was was uh, was myself and my sons, man. All right. To actually get on that chariot. All right. And about a month ago, uh, my son called me, you know, and started telling me about how he they he was uh, had he had a dream that he was at camp. And. uh and camp was over and all the, you know, the, and they were up in Denver. And he said and all the brethren, you know, parted to go their, their different ways because my sons and 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 the uh and the brother Yahweh Don and the brother Malak, uh, they live in in uh Colorado Springs, and the rest of the brothers live uh up in Denver. So as you know, the camp after camp, you know, the brothers salute each other and parted. He said that total chaos broke broke loose. And when this chaos broke loose, he said that there were lions running among the people, just ripping and tearing the people to pieces. And that he and his brother, you know, uh, they started running. And he said these lions were just leaping upon people, just ripping them apart, man. And and he, you know, and, and you know, I'm telling it the best that I can remember it. And he told me that they ran um inside of like a a shopping area and they and they ran inside of a room. And shut the door because the lions were close behind them. And when they closed the door, he said it was a bunch of Edomites hiding in the room with them. All right. They were already or they were already in there and that the lions were outside the door tearing at it and that the doors was coming off the hinges. And finally, the door tore down. And he said when they were face to face with these lions and he said this lion looked at them right in the eyes, man. And he said they just started praising the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and was ready to 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 meet their maker, man. All right. And um, he said the lion jumped right over them and started mauling and tearing to pieces the Edomites that were behind them. And they just and when the when the lion started tearing to pieces the Edomites, they just ran out to get away. And he said they, and as they were running, they ran past a, a big uh, uh, plain window. And when they looked at their reflections. They were lions. See, the men of the Lord are going to get that power, man. And, 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 and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, willing, it be the men who are doing this work in truth and sincerity, man. And not for filthy lucre's sake. Setting up pages to, for, to, to sell t-shirts and, and to sell sweatshirts and, and incense and smell goods and breakdowns and, and, and cologne and, you know. And you're and trying to make your own name brand, man. We have a name brand. It's Israel. It's Yasharala, man. Okay? I had to share that. Okay? Now I'm going to go to Psalms 149. All right? Because they're trying to demonize us. You know? The media is starting to finally... They're trying to, they're trying to demonize us. But see, you can't do anything against this truth. You can only do four because they can only bring out so much, man. And there's a reason why when they take these people on TV, these false Israelite sects, man, they use these these bootleg Israelite sects, but they go nowhere near the men of GMS, man, or or, or 
Like I said, you'll never see the brothers of DTA in a damn uh, uh, studio. You will never see the men of men of valor in a studio. Why? Because they're going to they're going to bring forth that truth, man. They're going to say the words that they don't want you to hear. Yeah. How about Shim? I was shy. They're going to say the word Edomite on television. All right. What you're trying to avoid. So that's why they was trying to throw this brainwashed blackness and whiteness, you know, and it's not about that, man. All right. This is uh, Psalms 149. And I'm going to read, read, just read the whole chapter. And it says, Praise ye, Yahweh, Sing unto Yahweh a new song. Because the song that's been going forth to the world is that God loves everybody. And that is a lie. The Bible does not say that. And it never has. The Gentiles that can get salvation in the New Testament and the epistles of Paul are talking about Israelite foreigners being brought back into the fold. Not the heathens. Not the Edomite, the so-called white man. Or any of the other heathens. That is a lie. Okay. It says. And praise. And his praise in the congregation of the saints. So it's telling you. In the first verse. That only the congregation of the saints. Are going to praise the Lord. Just like it tells you in Hebrew. In, uh, in, in Romans the ninth chapter man. All right, that only if Romans one, Rome, the Romans the ninth chapter is a heavy chapter, especially verses one through five, man, because it makes it clear in the New Testament that Lord that the covenant, the promises, the keeping of the law, all right, the giving of the kingdom of heaven and the service of the Lord is only given unto the Israelites, his brethren, according to the flesh, not spiritual. I believe converts. The word convert means to come back. All right. You had to come. How you can't come back to something. You can't convert to something you were never part of, man. That's why they changed. Because in law, con means against. See, they changed the meaning of words, man. Verse two: Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with temporal and harp, and and. For the for Yahweh take of pleasure in his people, all personal pronouns. He will beautify the meek with salvation. The brother's dream was called salvation is coming, man. And according to this scripture right here, it's coming to Israel, man. If you say anything different, you don't have reading comprehension, man. You're stupid. Okay? Subject matter. Verb and subject matter. All right. Let the saints be joyful in glory. All right. It says that, you know, when you read the uh, Romans, the ninth chapter, you know what? Let me just get it. You know, I wanted this to be faster than what I'm doing. But, you know, the spirit is, is doing this. Romans, uh, uh, the ninth chapter, starting at verse one, I'm going to read verses one through five. I say the truth in, in Hamashiach. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, so he's speaking the truth, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish, for I could wish that 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 myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory. What does it say here in verse 5 of Psalms 149? Let the saints be joyful in glory. Glory of what? Destruction of the heathens, man. All right? Back in uh, Romans, the ninth chapter. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of, the, of, of Yahweh and the promises? All right, so you can only serve the fathers. Then it said the, for only Israelites can serve the father and get the promises and the covenants according to the flesh. All right, whose are the fathers? And of whom as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all, Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. Back to 149. Checkmate. Okay. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. I said, why? In victory over the heathens in destruction. This proves it. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. 
to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings, President Trump, Barack Obama, Clinton, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, Netanyahu, all the heathen, including the false ones claiming to be Jacob when they're Esau. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This is the honor have all the this honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh. And you know what? I'm going to just stop right there. All praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh by Shem Shai. Double honors unto the apostles of GMS and salutation to the Akim that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom.